Good afternoon. We've seen some clouds on the increase, but overall just off and on cloud cover with some sunshine in between today in Fargo. That plus a strong south wind helping to warm us up in a hurry today. Those temperatures really did soar and that's helping to fuel some thunder showers already developing this afternoon in parts of the valley. Here's a look at the radar. A lot of cloud cover too and uh, areas where we're seeing some spotty rain, maybe some light rain in eastern North Dakota, but it's this area right here where we're focused on this long that's developed now in Lakes Country. Another round for you in Lakes Country. So into Grant County, Elbow Lake, you're about to see that line move through. Fergus Falls, it looks like the stronger part of the storm is passing just by to the north, but you'll still see this rain move in here in the next couple of minutes. And there's that lightning associated with this in northeastern parts of Wilkin County. And our storm tracks indicating that there might be a little bit of small hail within this storm. Very tiny hail at this point in time. It's heading to the north, northeast. That whole line kind of is at this point and it's about 525 rather to 30 miles per hour in its direction. So the Rothsay area, you're going to see this move through Barnesville. You've got some rain and thunder in your vicinity as well. So expanding the view, this whole system going to affect us today. We've got that warm front lifting in and the storms along it and chances for some of those storms to turn stronger here for today. A lot of heat in at least one location. It's 90 in the noon hour in Fargo. We really saw that temperature soar. And now at Howlock up to 88 degrees, so we really warmed up there as well. And some mid-80s in some spots. Elsewhere, we saw those sprinkles up in eastern parts of North Dakota, the Devil's Lake area, not as toasty. We're into the mid to upper 70s there, a little closer to what we'd consider normal for this time of year. Looking out of or at our wind speeds, it's coming in out of the south, and we're seeing those speeds that are into the 20s, even some gusts into the low 30s in both Fergus Falls and Fargo. So here's a look at your hour by hour planner. We've got the clouds and the rain lifting into the valley here this afternoon. They'll become more numerous and perhaps even stronger through the afternoon hours. This is four o'clock. You can see more areas of rain and thunder uh, getting going at that point in time and into the afternoon and evening hours. Stronger storms continue lifting northward. So if you're behind that line that's starting to develop, you may not see much at all. Some parts of southeastern North Dakota may end up being on the quieter side, but heading farther north, the likelihood of you seeing some heavier rain and some strong storms is there uh, for this afternoon and into tonight. So some strong storms, some of them could be severe as they continue into the uh, late night hours. Once that sun sets, though, the chances for the strongest part of these storms kind of starts to wane, and we're looking at uh, just some quieter weather overnight with maybe a few isolated storms moving through. So a slight risk for severe, uh, basically right along the Red River and east from there. This is the area where the threat is greatest in our viewing area and beyond down to the Twin Cities as well. Much of Minnesota covered by this. And that just means that several of these storms could uh, reach severe limits. And we're looking at some large hail greater than an inch in diameter and wind gusts that reach that 60 mile per hour mark or more uh, here for us with the forecast. Now heading into tomorrow, we have a couple of showers and thunder showers overnight. They eventually give us a little break for tomorrow morning's commute but more chances for rain, especially increasing into the afternoon and evening hours. Those storms and rain showers will continue to rotate through as that low finally starts to move on for Wednesday and into early parts of the day on Thursday. Thursday, we clear out around 80 degrees for your high. Friday, quiet initially, and then another system moves in with a chance for storms Friday night and Saturday. So active here in the forecast, but still remaining very warm for this time of year. We need the rain, but not so much the severe weather. Not the severe. So let's hope that it doesn't turn out to be too bad for us here today. All right. Thank you very much, Lisa.